So this is another um, episode of our Mother's Day bonbons. Um, so we have our chocolate in, in a carton. I'm hoping that uh, the layer is thick enough. I did go ahead with the camera off and add another layer in some spots. But I guess we'll find out. Um, on this side here, as you can see, it, you can't really see the coloring because it's already like separated from the shell. So once you can see some spots here that haven't yet, um, but once it's all separated from the shell, then it'll pop out supposedly. So, but we are ready to um, fill with our Mother's Day raspberry ganache. Um, I've already put it in a bag. It's been sitting for a little while. It's nice and cold. So I'm gonna cut the end and then we're gonna do a fill. Um, I don't wanna fill too full, obviously, but I don't wanna cheap out either. I want them to have a nice, good, um, a good chunk of raspberry flavor in there. Because remember, we've got the rose flavor and we have some orange flavor. And of course the chocolate flavor and I did add some espresso beans so we have some espresso flavor or like that espresso chocolate um, actually and oh boy this is really coming out so um, actually I did find the espresso flavor did not um, take over the bonbon flavors at all so the raspberry we're getting some nice flavoring um, without the overwhelmingness of the espresso. I mean, it's nice that the espresso is a good flavor, but you don't want it dominating these, especially with that raspberry in there. Um, and there are some nice little chunks of dark chocolate, which really adds some character to it and um, some more flavor. Just when mama thinks she's gonna get off with just that raspberry flavoring, uh, boom dark chocolate explosion. See, it's funny because I got dark chocolate. Plugging the mold. It's either pouring out or it's not coming out at all. Gonna have to get rid of that. Just gonna break it up with my fingertip here. There. It does come out super fast. Um, it is a little thinner than I would have liked. I should have Hindsight, of course, um, added more chocolate, um, which would have helped considerably. A chunk there I'm going to break up. I do like these chunks of dark, though. I think it's a nice touch, as opposed to having the chunks of raspberry. Because um, it's not something you're going to expect, necessarily. Yes, Mama's getting a whole few chunks of dark in here. Um, I am going to go over it again and make sure that we got enough in some. And oh, I can get a little bit more, I think. I do want to make sure that there's enough room. Um, I want to make sure there's enough room to seal it off. So, set it down. I am going to wipe off these parts too. Um, some of them I'm not sure if they're going to seal. Might be a little too full. Um, but overall, I think I'm not going to add maybe this one here just a tiny bit. I'm not going to add much more, though. I just want to make sure that we have enough to seal them. Where's that knife? Mine. right beside me. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape this off. Um, I gave it a good scrape with the chocolate, but as you can see, I'm still getting chocolate off. So I think that's good. Um, now I'm going to have to go and retemper this chocolate that I had from before. So I'm 
need to melt that down. And then we should be able to, this is going to make a lovely, lovely, lovely chocolate. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it when it's all done. I can't wait to get it done. So I'm going to um, go ahead. I'm going to warm this chocolate up. I'm going to get it to the right consistency. And then before it gets fully tempered, we'll turn the camera back on and then we'll see. Um, get that on and then we're going to have to come back for the end presentation. So you're stuck watching a few more of these videos or you can just skip right from the first video to the end of the video and see what's happening. But for now, I will um, log out and we'll see you again.